of money. 21,000, 34,000. Ed, did you ever look up how much you made? I got the emails from Jackie. I forget what her total was. Milton. Just some really big numbers on the board. And it's not even earnings season. But even for the day trading room every day this week, we made money. I mean, so we're off to a really, really good start for 2020. We are off to a very good start here. <laughs> and it's not even earnings season. <laughs> so if I want to be perfect the whole year, I need rest and sleep. And a vacation at some point this year. All right, KBH is out tonight. WD40. Infi is tomorrow. And remember, tomorrow is a big day for data. Um, and since we don't know what that result will be, you made four thousand in Tesla. Great. Oh, this is this is higher. Again, I I. I think yesterday was a great exit in this, but I'm not calling any more trades in this. But is anybody still in this? To watch Trump's speech and to watch those green bars was exciting. I really didn't listen to the whole thing. I just kind of listened to the first two minutes and then I just turned it off. I was trying to focus on what was going on here. I didn't want to get in my head about anything that would affect... Because we, we actually sold off initially, I think. We were we were went we went doom and then we flipped around. Yeah, here it is. We sold off here. Boom. Then swung around. All right. Actually this looks like this just made a new low. Forty four seventy five. Forty four seventy two. Yep, it was a stop, drop, and roll. So anyways, good start to the year for everyone. No matter, like I said, if you're doing just day trades or if you're doing the day trades and the options or if you're just doing the options, it was, it's been, this is a good start to the year and it's not earnings season, so it starts next week. So I'll continue to make the calls, but you guys are the ones that are doing them, okay? I'm happy everyone's making good decisions, okay? Yeah, the stop, drop, and roll was the theme of the week. <laughs> I'm gonna give you why again. This had a nice move. You could have done both of these. I don't think we could have made a mistake today either. Like if I hadn't had KSS, I would have done this or vice versa. But they both ended up hitting at the same time and they both ended up working. This is, you know, like whatever it is at this point, you know. And again, that's why you can't get all, I mean, first of all, that's why I don't kill anything. That's number one. Like literally this could go today, tomorrow. Seriously, literally. And second of all, um, you don't give up on the conviction. I had that lecture yesterday about the market because the market was down the previous night from the, from the Iran bombing the, the place, which I guess nobody was killed. Oh, that's like amazing. But anyways, um, you, you gotta hold the conviction. That was the whole lecture I did yesterday when we were talking about gaps and skill set and buying and selling, but really it's also conviction because if you, if, if one thing trips you up on your conviction, you're basically screwed. I mean, how can you survive? How can you make it? How can you make any money? How can you get anywhere? How can you do anything at all? I mean, I'm not just talking about trading. I'm talking about anything in life that you want to accomplish. I mean, to, you have to be able to learn to deal with stress and situations and we we all got to deal with it better but the reality is that when you have the conviction in a trade and you take it and you're down or you see something doesn't work and you hold the conviction because of what you know it helps you it helps you at least handle the stressful situation until it goes back in your favor now if you're making a flat out mistake and you're doing something wrong it's a different story so this is interesting here. Again, market gapped up today. People, it looks like people are going to try to short this market here. But I'll tell you right now, if the data is good tomorrow, we're going to we're going to have another third day up. And again, I would be out of all the market stuff, and I wouldn't hold anything to the last day, unless you're not up. 
but as far as this goes, if we have good data tomorrow, we'll have another pop. Okay, let's look at the banks. Good week. I mean, I don't know if anyone has any questions or if anyone wants to go over anything. We certainly can. This is up again too. I think this is gonna, I think this is on the move here. This apple's on the move. 310 is in sight for this, just like 320 is in sight still for, uh, no, not 320, what was the number? 220, I'm sorry. 220 was in sight for the, for the Qs. We got to 214.41, but 220 is in sight for this. This was Isabel's dream target yesterday. Didn't get there yesterday. Does that, did anyone remember me saying 218 yesterday? Because I did. <laughs> I said 218 is the real target on this today. I mean, talk. look at that. 220 was a dream target. But 220 is a real number. So I think 220 here, 310 here, 330 here we talked about. Let's look at the high with this. It was 326 and change. This was the 14th, 20, 14, 25. It got through these already. So you could be out of Google. But if everything else is higher, that's going to go. And 1920 in Amazon. Actually, let me look at this chart. Actually, you know what? I'm going to look at when these. When is that day when everything comes out? Let me just see when Apple, Google, Amazon, all those ones are. Because it's good to know those dates. Look at the Amazon. Amazon is January 30th. Apple is on January 28th. Let's look at Google. You know, we haven't played in a while on Facebook. I just kind of forget about that. It never, I like, it's not in my purview. I don't know why. I don't know why. I like, kind of forget that it exists. Um, wow, everything's on a different date. February 3rd is Google. That's weird. James is excited of this year of trading with me. Well, you've been gone long enough. Some of you take hiatuses. And then you always come back to the mothership. <laughs> I, 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 it's interesting because the longer I'm in business, the more I see people come back around to me. Oh, I should have never left you. Oh, I don't know why I did this. Oh, you're very good. <laughs> All right, listen. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. It's freezing, freezing here in New York. I'm going to try to get some stuff done today, get organized with my life, work out, and go to bed early. You're sticking around this time? Good. Good start to the week for you. And great trade here on this. Good exit, too. All right, I'll see everybody tomorrow. You're welcome, Riley. Very good.